This is the most powerful deepfake tool yet and it's completely open source and free. We're just going to take a quick look at this and then I'm going to show you two ways to use this. Both are free. One of them is a really easy local install and the other one is just online in your browser. So this is Live Portrait and it is by far the best face animation deepfake, you know, making a photo or image talk tool that has been released so far. So here are some examples. So you just upload a video with the facial expressions or the face moving how you want it, and then you upload your portrait or image that you want to have those expressions and movements. And it works phenomenally well. As you can see here, both paintings and photos work really, really well. And look, you can actually upload an image with more than one person on there and it will animate all the faces in that portrait the same way and it just does such a good job the mouth's opening is actually completely insane so yeah this is way better than any other alternative out there right now here are some more cool examples just look how good the consistency is completely mind-blowing a little bit scary but hey it's here so i'm going to show you how to use it so it can even do animals apparently which is still driven by humans like a human video very cool so now i'll show you how to install it locally so you can run it on your gpu now i'll go through this quickly but it will be step by step and it's a lot easier than other tutorials i've seen because we don't actually need to install anaconda all you need first is python so just go ahead if you don't have python go to python.org go to downloads and you want to download an older version of python not 12 or 13 so go ahead download 10 or 11 i've got 10 installed so if you just scroll down you can download that here just hit download and install that it's a very simple installer just hit next so if you have windows you can go to gitforwindows.org or you can go to git-scm.com and go to downloads and download it here i'll leave the links for all these in the description of course once you have that that's all you need from the internet next what you want to do is just make a new folder on your desktop or somewhere else i just called it lp now the third link in the description will be this text file in a google drive that i've shared you don't have to download it just open that link and here are the next steps it's super easy so the first thing you're just going to clone this repository all you need to do is just copy this then we'll go to our folder and in the top bar here you're going to click that then you're going to type in cmd then you're just going to hit enter that'll open our command prompt and it will already be inside this folder then we're just going to paste what we just copied and hit enter this will clone the entire repository and download everything we need for live portrait there we go that took about 10 seconds now you can just close this then we're going to head into that new folder it created live portrait and then we're just going to do the same thing up here hit it again and type in cmd now we're inside this folder so now what we're going to do is create what's called a virtual environment again copy this and just paste it in there and hit enter all this is doing is creating this virtual environment so that it's separate from any other python stuff you have going on on your computer it's always a good idea to create a virtual environment so it did that now we have to actually activate that virtual environment so to do that just copy this line in step four paste it in there hit enter and now we're inside our virtual environment then step five we're going to install the requirements so again copy this and paste it inside there and hit enter so this might take a little while so i already did this i'm just going to exit out of there whilst that's downloading you want to go to the google drive link in step seven that's not my google drive link that is theirs as you can see on the github page so you can just go to that drive and then we want to download both of these folders so just right click it hit download do that for both of them and you'll get them in a zip file so once you have both of those downloaded you can open them both then we're going to go into the pre-trained weights folder and then we just want to drag both of those in there so that will unzip them and extract them into this folder now you're all done so you want to go back into a live portrait folder here this is a folder i made earlier but it's the exact same as you just made so if you still have your command prompt open that's good otherwise you go back here type in cmd again and then you just want to copy and paste the last two steps so we're going to activate our virtual environment again hit enter now we're in there and then we can just run the python program itself hit enter and there we go it's loaded everything up and it will give you a link here so just copy that link Control c and paste it into your browser and here we go here's our local running live portrait so let's give this a go here we have the source portrait here's an image i generated for a previous video as you can see it's an ai generated painting style then the driving video you can upload your own but as you can read here in the animation instructions and options the best practices for the driving video is to have them square so a one by one ratio or you can actually enable cropping in the video if you don't have a one by one and it will try to crop it automatically to be square also as you can see focus on the head area similar to the example videos minimize shoulder movement and make sure that the first frame of the video 
is a frontal face with a neutral expression. That seems important. We'll just go with one of these examples here. So this is one of the really crazy ones from the examples. Let's use that. It is a little bit long. So here you can actually trim the video inside the app. So we'll just trim it to like nine seconds. Hit trim. And now all we have to do is hit animate. And if you open your command prompts, you'll see that it has started to animate our image. So this shouldn't take too long. It's only nine seconds, depending on what graphics card you have, obviously. As you can see, it says it will take about a minute in my case with my old 1080 GPU. So while that's going, we can have a look down here. So if we upload that same image here and we hit retarget, as you can see, we can close the eyes, which is cool. And we can actually open our mouth as well. That's really cool. How about wide open eyes and mouth? Oh God, that's really creepy. Let's take the eyes down a bit. Very weird, but cool so here's our video it made let me just mute this because it has some copyrighted music on there here we go as you can see it did an amazing job the only thing is the little bit of hair here but that's obviously because of the image and here on the right you have the full workflow so we have the original video our original image and then the animated image as you can see absolutely amazing so let's try this cartoon image hit animate let's take a look wow it's so good so there we have it now obviously this is the best way to do it locally however there is a hugging face space which is completely free as well so all you have to do is go to this link which will be in the description again of course and here you can use it for free however then you are uploading your images to this server and it will be a lot slower because a lot of people will be using this now. You can duplicate this space and pay for a GPU, which is not a lot of money at all, but not free if you want to have it work fast. At the moment, it's working pretty fast, actually. As you can see, if I hit animate, it might actually be faster than my own GPU at the moment, but I'm sure this will change as a lot of people are starting to use this now. Anyway, it's always better to use a local version. And there we go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Cheers, guys.